should I order my new Cadillac with cloth or leather seat covers? <laughs> I'm getting leopard, so they match my underwear. <laughs> Guess I won't have any seat covers. <laughs> You know, it's not too late to call this off. What is with you, Griff? We're gonna make a fortune tonight. Yeah, the last time I felt this queasy in church is when someone said, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Look, Griff, will you relax, all right? I'm sure Al is gonna handle this with, with respect and, and dignity. Brothers. For years, we have been tortured by the shrill voices of our nagging wives. But at last, we have found a man. A man who speaks to us all. A man who married for our sins. Let's everybody give it up for the Reverend Al Bundy. Vixens, Hella, and Luya. Believers, guests, <laughs> those of you with the deep pockets that got the cushion seats up front, <laughs> let me tell you a little story. Mm -hmm. God <laughs> created man. Everything was going great. Then Eve came around and said, Apple? <laughs> the one time they offer us something to eat, bam, we wind up selling women's shoes. Now! <laughs> I know that a lot of you are wondering what the church of no ma'am is all about. Who <laughs> is? Yes, but we're also about making the world something it used to be. <laughs> Back when men were men and women were ribs. <laughs> Tell it, Reverend Al! <laughs> when a driver's side airbag was called a mother-in-law. <laughs> when a frank conversation with the wife used to begin with what's for dinner and ended with, you call that dinner! <laughs> Would you like a squeeze? Oh, yes. <laughs> Blot your brow. Bless you, my child. Though I see you've already been blessed. <laughs> but it is our mission to bring back the natural order of things. Mm -hmm. Guy things. Mm -hmm. Amen! <laughs> like barber shops, hardware stores. Those calendars, you lift the cellophane, she's naked in there. <laughs> I want to bring us back to those times. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is an engine that runs on money. I'm not talking about that unleaded, eco-friendly, tree-hugging, girly-jiggling money. <laughs> you go, preacher man! <laughs> Now, if no one wants to testify, we'll pass the collection plate. I want to testify. A woman! No, 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 let us not jump to conclusions. You want me to take her down, Reverend Al? That will uh, not be necessary, Brother Archimedes. The days are over when a woman could whoop us like a nation of Jerry Coonies. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have very little to say. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Reverend Al for giving such a stirring, pork-laden speech. <laughs> well, hurry up, Marcy. I'm about to be born again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> 
You're gonna be laughing out of the other side of your pipe organ in a minute. <laughs> My women's group has commandeered the video booth. And there's a little something we'd like to show you to put a smile on your snouts. Girly porn? Yeah! <laughs> Even better. Ooh. Let's go on a date with Reverend Al. Roll it, girls! Here he is, dancing with his wife. Oh. Take her down, Archimedes. <laughs> Take him down, Dot. Damn. <laughs> you a lot of woman. I'm a lot of everything. <laughs> and here's your man's man at a restaurant called Potpourri, eating quiche. Now, I can explain that. I had ordered a meatball sandwich, extra ball. <laughs> Let's see where they went next. Bowling, perhaps? Why, no. They're attending a performance of Cats. <laughs> With all proceeds going to the Chicago Ballet. Oh. And finally, behold your beloved Reverend Al and the Misses outside the Rock Up Suck Up Hotel. So, there you have it. Your leader. a guy dressed like one. Yeah. Oink your way out of this one, Reverend Fatback. <laughs> I have seen it. Like I enjoyed it. I mean, you know, it was her birthday, for heaven's sake. Wait, 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 wait. Let he who is without wife cast the first stone. Thanks, Grim. <laughs>